We spend quite a lot of time thinking about the skills of the future and what we might need. And the basic conclusion we come to is that um, nobody knows. I believe we are we supposed to prepare our children to work in jobs. We can't imagine what is it now. That's why it must be uh, you know, skills abroad as much as possible. The skills of the future. Now, how long have we got to talk about that today? Um, look, what is clear is that the skills that will be in demand in the future are from people who have some kind of specialisation. Um, a lot of young people is not. Uh, they, they are not going towards the traditional skills that we have as mystery plumbing and everything. They, they are looking for other uh, areas in the ICT. Uh, so they are looking at development of apps. They are looking at designs using uh, graphics. Well, the vocational education system needs to keep up with, with changes in the world of work and the needs of employers all the time and I don't think that's any different now to how it's always been. That's always been a challenge. Um, I guess the, the issue now is that it's changing quicker than it has been in terms of um, the world of work. The things that we try to focus on are skills which will transcend Different, um, different technologies um, and, uh, and even different economic conditions. Um, we're looking for adaptability. I think the skills of the future are, some of them are quite similar to the skills of today. So they are to do with things like being able to communicate and being able to work with people. People want commitment and that means people who are going to turn up every day, people who are going to be on time. Those are obvious starting points. Uh, but in particular, people want someone who can be part of a team, somebody who can communicate effectively, and somebody who can solve problems. The basic skills of reading, writing, speaking, getting on generally with people in life, and that's as important to teach people along, alongside a trade or an industry or a skill as it is because work in the main is made up of working in a society with people. Unless you can read a room, read a situation, read a conversation, you can't communicate effectively. So you need to know your audience, um, know your market, know your skills and know where you fit into the world. So no matter how far we go along in life, listening I think personally would be the most important thing. You learn open-mindedness, you learn understanding, you learn etiquette, you learn how to carry yourself. You learn how to be the, from listening to your parents, you learn how to be the individual that you are. Being anti-fragile, learning that failure is good. You learn from it and you draw on that failure to do better next time. Networking with people, building rapport, interpersonal skills, great communication skills, confidence and self-belief, all of those transferable skills that transfer across all sectors. Definitely the soft skills because it, it doesn't matter how much you learn the knowledge because some knowledge can be outdated but it's always the way you carry out yourself so your personality your confidence and networking in an era of Wikipedia and Google and anyone frankly who's got a broadband connection the idea that knowledge or facts and access to knowledge is any longer valuable is not so much the case so having some kind of practical skill or a skill that is in demand in the real economy that's what's going to be the future. I think one of the most important things about the world we're living in now is that it is a much more complex and much more global world. And so we need young people who have the skill set to be able to operate in that much more competitive environment. And that means having the skills, the technical skills for the, for the future, but it also needs having the cultural skills for the future. So we need people who are culturally fluent, linguistically fluent, as well as skills uh, fluent. Systems have to be introduced so that uh, vocational education and skills providers understand what the changes are. are. In employers' needs, and therefore, uh, what we're, what's really needed is some permanent processes for engaging with employers. There are jobs out there we haven't even heard of yet that we now need to start to consider and write a new curriculum for, and tailor those other um, trades and, and, and curriculums to suit the new 
new generation, really.